In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. The earth didn't have any form and was only filled with darkness. Then, God spoke. A burst of light filled the universe. Hence, he created the light. He separated the light from the darkness and called the light day and the darkness night. God divided the water and called the part that appeared the sky. He gathered the water below and made the dry ground appears, and that's how God formed the sea and the land. Then, God decided to adorn the land with trees, grass, flowers, and plant of every kind. He also created the sun, the moon, and the stars to differentiate daylight, night, days, season, and years. He filled the sky with every variety of winged birds, the sea with big and small living creatures, and the land with wild stocks, crawling creatures, beasts, and all wildlife. After everything, God then created something special. He took the dust from the earth and breathed life into him to form a living man whom he called Adam. God gave him dominion over all plants and animals on the land, in the sky, and in the sea. When Adam opened his eyes, he looked around with wonder at the beautiful garden that God has created in the east of Eden. And God placed him there to tend and cultivate the garden. Everything was good in the garden. God grew many beautiful trees that grow fruit for Adam to eat. Yet, despite everything, God saw that it was not good for Adam to be alone. Every living creature in the garden had a mate except for Adam. So, God cast a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. He took one of Adam's ribs and formed a suitable companion for Adam, called Eve, the mother of all the living. Adam and Eve were made to complete and care for each other. Together, they live a serene life in the Garden of Eden. In the middle of the garden, there were two particular trees. One was the tree of life and the other was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God told Adam and Eve to freely eat every fruit bare by every tree in the garden except for the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. However, the serpent, the craftiest creature God had made, approached Eve. It convinced her to eat the fruit from the forbidden tree, for if she did, her eyes would be opened and she would be as wise as God by knowing good and evil. Tempted by the words, she saw the forbidden fruit hanging from the tree. The more she looked, the more desirable the fruit became. So, Eve gave in to the temptation and went against God's command. She ate the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and shared it with Adam. All of a sudden, their eyes are opened and the two realized they were naked. And for the first time, shame washed over them. They tried to cover themselves and went into hiding. They became afraid as they realized they had defied God. Not long, they heard the sound of God's footsteps as he was walking in the garden. God searched and called out to them, asking why they were hiding. Adam confessed that he had eaten the forbidden fruit because of Eve, while Eve started to blame her wrongdoing on the serpent. Hearing this, God was angered and saddened by their choice. God decided to punish the three of them. He cursed the serpent to walk on his belly for the rest of his life, and Eve to bear the great pain of childbearing. As for Adam, he had to work in sorrow and sweat to provide for his family until his death. They can no longer consume the fruit of the tree of life and live forever since they knew good and evil. Then, God expelled Adam and Eve from the garden and commanded his angels to guard the garden. As for the tree of life, it is protected with a flaming sword that turns in every direction. Even in their fallen state, God still loved and cared for them. This story to remind us how disobedience towards God brought sin into the world. However, this story is also a reminder of God's love and mercy that are always available for those who seek Him.